Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into the Unify AI Pro camera. This is one of Unify's latest security cameras and I want to see if it's really worth the upgrade from the Unify G4 Bullet cameras. In this video, I'll cover the price, break down the differences, test the real world performance of the AI Pro compared to the G4 and help you decide if the AI Pro is worth it. Let's get into it. First and foremost, let's see what's inside of the box. The Unify AI Pro comes with the camera itself, a mounting base kit for both pole and junction box installation and some documentation. The design itself is quite similar to the G4, only slightly bulkier. Just like the G4 camera, the AI Pro requires power over Ethernet to provide power and data to the camera. I have a Unify 24 port PoE switch which I use to power all of my PoE devices in my home. However, it can also be powered with PoE injectors or any third party PoE switch. Additionally, a UDM Pro or a Unify NVR that supports the Protect application is needed to use the Unify cameras. Installing the camera was actually simple. I opted for a junction box first since I frequently test different cameras. The junction box features multiple mounting holes allowing for easy swaps between different cameras. Beyond convenience, it also keeps my setup looking clean, especially since I have multiple ethernet cables inside of this junction box. To maintain the all black stealth aesthetics, I spray painted the junction box to match both the camera and my soffit. With that done, I mounted the junction box to my soffit and secured the air probe base to it. For the weatherproof seal, I cut it in half and wrapped it around the cable cause I sure as heck wasn't going to cut my LG45 cable just to pass it through the seal and have to re-terminate it afterwards. One thing that's immediately wrong here is the jack. I ran out of outdoor jacks during the initial installation so I just made use of standard jacks instead. Maybe in the future I'll deal with it because right now it is cold and I don't want to be outdoors longer than I need to be. Once that was all done I connected the cable to the camera and finally attached the camera to the base. One thing I really appreciated with the AI Pro is the camera adjustment. It has a screw on the rear that can be loosened allowing the camera to be easily adjusted along its vertical axis. To make the same adjustments with the G4, you have to almost completely loosen the base to adjust both the vertical and horizontal angles, which I always found extremely challenging. Perhaps it's because every time I've had to install this camera, it has always been really cold outside. Setting up the AI Pro camera is straightforward using the Unified Protect application. As soon as the Ethernet cable was plugged in and the camera powered up, the Protect app automatically prompted me to adopt the camera. And once I did, it was added to the Protect app and performed a software update. After adopting the AI Pro into my Unify Protect system, I noticed additional options became available. Face detection and license plate recognitions, which I immediately enabled. Now, let's compare the Unify AI Pro with the G4 in real world scenarios. I set up both cameras in the same location in front of my house to see how they compare in different conditions. The AI Pro features a 4 megapixel sensor with 30 frames per second recording, enhanced AI powered object detection and improved low light performance. These are processed directly on the camera itself thanks to its quad core ARM Cortex A53 chip which allows for real time AI analysis without offloading the work to a server. The G4 also has a 4 megapixel sensor but lacks the A53 chip for the AI capabilities. Both the AI Pro and the G4 have a 110 degrees horizontal field of view, a 60 degrees vertical field of view and the 120 degrees diagonal field of view. During the daytime, the AI Pro delivers sharper details and better dynamic range and the bright areas more effectively than the G4. For night vision, the AI Pro has an 82 feet infrared range while the G4 is limited to just 50. So instead of relying solely on infrared lighting like the G4, the AI Pro uses advanced low light processing resulting in clearer and colored images with less noise and better contrast. This makes it easy to recognize faces and objects at night. Both cameras perform similar in performance when there is lots of ambient light at night time. Like when it snows, so the G4 is basically operates in colored mode just like the AI Pro as well. The G4's infrared illumination gives off a classic night vision look, but it tends to overexpose certain areas and creates harsh shadows. I find that the G4 made me more visible, probably because of the overexposure. The AI Pro's image is more balanced, but I did appear darker in comparison to the G4. 
when no ambient light at all is present like in this clip. The AI handles it quite well resorting to a night vision kind of look similar to the G4. AI Smart is where the AI Pro is supposed to shine, but my experience has been mixed. Face detection has been underwhelming. So far, it initially only identified one person after multiple days. A construction worker walking on the house next door and no one in my household. I found this frustrating given that the camera is marketed as an AI driven camera. So in an attempt to try and figure out why the facial recognition sucked, I swapped the positions of both cameras to see if it would get a different outcome. Since the G4 and AI Pro both share the same mountain base, it was relatively easy to swap them. Once I did, the AI Pro instantly recognized my face. This was most likely because I was standing directly in front of the camera during the installation the entire time. And that was the last time it did any sort of recognition of my face. License plate recognition is kind of tricky where I live. Since our license plates are only on the back of vehicles, the camera can only recognize license plates when cars are moving away, not when they are approaching. That limits its use case, but surprisingly the recognition worked at night. I found that it sometimes misreads text printed on the side of commercial vehicles and tags it as license plate. This can, however, be helpful when it comes to searching through the footage history. Other times, it just reads it incorrectly. For example, if there was a reported incident of a suspicious black car in the neighborhood group, I can do a global search of my footage history for all occurrences of black vehicles. This is quite sweet. I was able to set up an automation using Webbox between Home Assistant and Unify Protect. This automation opens the garage door when one of our vehicles approaches the house. It is not perfect yet. There are still some inconsistencies with the license plate recognition and my UDM Pro is currently having trust issues with my self-signed certificate which is preventing me from using my domain name for external automation at the moment. Alerts can be set up within the Protect app for vehicles of interest. I set up one for the garbage truck so I know exactly when my bins are picked up. With the strong winds here, empty bins can get blown away sometimes disappearing for days. This alert helps me know when to bring it in after the garbage truck has picked it up. I can also set up an alert for personal interest such as for when my wife arrives home. But I already have numerous ways to be able to do that within Home Assistant using geofencing, motion sensor, contact sensors and the rest. Both the AI Pro and the G4 offers 3x optical zoom and then you can digitally zoom it another 800%. The details the AI Pro captures is quite impressive. The G4 has an IP67 rating allowing submersion in water for up to 10 minutes, while the AI Pro has an IP65 rating, meaning it's weather resistant but not submissible. I personally don't see a scenario where submerging a security camera into water for 10 minutes would be necessary. So, the IP67 rating doesn't add much value for me. IP65 is sufficient. The AI Pro has an IK04 tampa resistance, making it harder to damage, whereas the G4 lacks any sort of official tampa resistance, so the AI has a leg up in that department. If you own a G4, you can still add AI functionalities in other ways. I was able to integrate it into my Apple on Kit Secure video using Scripted. This unlocks person detection, object recognition, and familiar face identification. So my Apple Home Kit is able to recognize family members like myself, my wife, and even my friend Tochi. It even displays this on the TV and our mobile phones. The Home Kit recognition is much superior to that of the AI Pro, detecting more times than the AI Pro ever did. But of course, Apple Home Kit Secure Video runs on the cloud and requires an iCloud subscription, whereas the AI Pro does it all locally and requires no subscription. Additionally, Unify sells a device called the AI port that adds enhanced AI functionality to the G4 without needing to upgrade, but at a steep price of $199. US It isn't just limited to the G4 though, it can work with other third-party cameras that support LTSP. Price is always a major factor. The G4 costs $479 US while the AI Pro is $499, US only a $20 difference. If you want a built-in AI feature, the AI Pro is a great choice. If you don't mind doing some extra steps, you can get similar AI results with the G4 using integrations like HomeKit or Home Assistant. I had an interesting experience that really highlighted the AI Pro's potential. One morning, a lady parked a vehicle right in front of my driveway just as I was about to leave for work. 
But thanks to the AI Pro's license plate recognition and vehicle tracking, I was able to review my footage and see exactly where she went. So, is the Unify AI Pro worth upgrading to? I'll say it depends. If you're buying the AI Pro purely for its AI features, I'll say temper your expectation, especially with that steep price for just a single unit. Both the license plate and facial recognition features still fall short. They're inconsistent, sometimes inaccurate, and other times just unreliable. Now that said, when they do work, they're actually pretty great. They're able to filter such histories by license plate, vehicle type, or even car color, which is really nice. Being able to go back and search for something like all black SUVs that have been in my area over the last 30 days or every time a particular person has visited my house is genuinely useful. If you have the G4 in place, there's little reason to upgrade to the AI Pro at this point. The improvements in image quality and low light performance are really nice, but they're not impressive enough to justify replacing the G4. You can accomplish a lot of the AI features using something like Scripters NVR, Freegate or even Blue Iris if you're willing to get your hands dirty. But if you want a quick plug and play solution, the AI Pro might be worth considering, especially since it's also local as well. If I were buying a new unified camera today, I'll go for the AI Pro over the G4 simply because of the small price difference. The hardware itself has a lot of potential and I believe it's going to only get better moving forward. The more data you feed the AI, the better its analysis becomes. If you've been considering the AI Pro or upgrading your Unify camera setup, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Are you sticking with your current setup or making the switch to the AI Pro? Drop your comments down in the comment section below. And if you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and smash that bell icon so you don't miss more smart home and tech content. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ty, checking out.